Mums love their children for who they are. They provide love and security for who they are. Dads love their children for who they can be. And that's the differing roles of mothers and fathers. And, you know, I mean, in this transhuman age where there are no differences between genders, um, that, you know, there are huge swathes of our society who think that, you know, you can live without a dad and you can live without a mum or whatever. But uh, one of the things that Warren Farrell said to me that I'd known for some time and I, I find it immensely disturbing and doesn't get enough prominence is that prisons are holding cells for fatherless men. That's right. We know that. All the yeah. researchers there. Yeah. And, he, and cop this one. In the years since I left school, which it's a few years now, I've got to say, but anyway, in the mid-70s, America's population's doubled, but the prison population's gone up by around 750%, and it's overwhelmingly young men. And people say, oh, it's a, black, you know, a young black man's crisis. No, it's not. It's a young man's crisis. Yeah. And it's not, we've known for a long time what the basic cause of it is. This is the thing that I do want to say. It is time that we recognised, and this is what ARC was about, that we actually grapple with reality, that we actually engage in calm, reasoned debate, that we actually recognise now we face major economic, social and strategic challenges as well as environmental challenges, mm -hmm. and we are sweeping far too many of them under the carpet. I see it in the commentary. There are people who are simply who say we're doing very well. This is just a you know a bunch of old grey. Mind you, there are a lot of young people there. It wasn't an old man's conference at all. Is no. all that? Actually, John, um, I've got but, to point out. But, he, but here's the point: yeah. facts are facts are facts. Mm. And if you are thinking that everything's going well at the moment, you are doing the next generation of young vulnerable people who don't have a voice for themselves a massive massive disservice and you ought to be ashamed of yourself for not better understanding. I'd say that again. If you are an Australian listening to this and you think everything's going well, you are, you should hang your head in shame if you don't understand how tough our children are doing it. Mental health, you know, uh, loneliness, depression, anxiety, self-harm, and the answer is not. It is not, as how we so often hear, another government program. <laughs> Well, speaking of government programs, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Constantine Kisson said this too, and he wasn't the only one. You, you're not going to get young people on side if they can't buy a house. Yeah, it's true. as simple as that. This was one of the great drivers. Mm. One yeah. of the great drivers for ARC was the research showing that young people, again, here we are, young people. Now, I'm not going to completely excuse them. They go looking for answers in all the wrong places. Perhaps that's partly because of the education system. Mm -hmm. But it is true that it's got very difficult and we do know from the research in the English speaking countries particularly the old pattern of perhaps you know being left of centre when you're a university student uh, as some wisecrack put it if you're not a socialist at 18 you've got no heart if you're still one at 30 you've got no head yeah. people normally recentered in their lives as in their mid 20s to late 20s they got a job took on a mortgage, started a family. There is a real issue now with people feeling, young people feeling, and we need to listen carefully because there's some justification for it, that they, this thing's just not working for them. They can't get that break. Mm. Uh, and I do think... Uh, Which in, makes them vulnerable to all sorts of, you know, sort of false ideals and, you know, I mean, I, I, can't, I, I have to say that it is cl so closely related to the increase in the uh, idea that socialism's not, not such a bad thing. Yep. If you're never going to own a house, well, why would you bother mm. wanting to own anything, yep. you know?